everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a first time Thursday for you guys. I know it's technically Friday um, just because I wasn't able to get this up for Thursday because I've been missing my camera cord literally all week. During the process of cleaning up for my baby shower that happened last weekend, uh, my camera cord magically went missing. It actually ended up being in my purse because someone thought, you know what, she's never going to lose it if it's in her purse. But unfortunately for me, I have a huge purse, um, so I didn't even notice that it would be in there. I didn't even bother checking because I was like, well, you know, I'd never put it in there. So, uh, yeah, it was missing. Uh, so I wasn't able to film this for Thursday. This is technically Thursday that I'm filming on, um, but it will be up for Friday. Woohoo. So for today's First Time Thursday, I'm going to be doing the NYX Tame and Frame pomade. Um, I got this in the color blonde and because they had such a stupid safety seal on it I ended up ripping off the whole lid trying to get it off. You guys know how much I hate unnecessarily uh, Fort Knox-ish safety seals. It is just unnecessary and annoying. So I got the color blonde uh, TFB P01 blonde um, and this is what the color looks like. It's just a light taupe brown, very similar to my MAC Omega um, color, so I think this is going to be a great color for me. I know I might look funny during this intro just because I have like very done eyes and face but no brows on, so just forgive me for that. <laughs> um, but you know what, I've actually never used a brow pomade um, just because they've become only become popular over the last few years. Um, and I'm, I'm the kind of person that I don't really like change. If I find something that I like, I stick with it. I've probably been using MAC's Omega... Um, powder and Ma or max fling pencil like if i want like a bolder or a more natural brow for the last like two years like once i find something i like i stick with it so uh i just thought this might be a fun little uh thing to try out so welcome to my face um you guys know how i am about close-ups extreme close-ups especially on days that i do extreme makeup because i feel like everyone's gonna pinpoint it um, especially since yes my liner is uneven because i have uneven eyes so i have to even them out with liner that's just uh, that's just luck of the draw, I guess, on that one. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's just get started. So first I'm going to be taking Max uh, Brow Comb in number 204, and I'm just going to be combing out my brows is what I do before I apply any brow product whatsoever, no matter what it is. What this does is just evens out the brow hairs, make sure there's no product in them that shouldn't be there, and uh, just kind of gets them into a desired shape for you. It's a very simple step, but a very important one in my book. So I just read the instructions on the back of the box, and it says how to use dip an angled brow brush into pomade, outline and fill brush, uh, fill outline and fill brows to your desired shape and thickness, blend and brush brows with a spoolie brush, and then set with gel. So we'll see how this goes. So today I'm going to be using my Smashbox angled brow brush. I don't no longer have the numbers on this one, but if I, I'll just look it up and I'll either link it down below or have an annotation up in one of the corners to tell you what number it is. This is fantastic. I've had it for so many years and it still works like a charm. I use it every single day. So I'm just going to be dipping my brush into the pomade. I'm going to start off with just a little bit because I don't know how well this is going to go. For me, I'm just filling it in a little bit thicker than my natural brow shape. Really, for me, I use brow products to darken mostly. I don't really fill in a whole lot because I find that looks really unnatural. Um, I just fill in the slightest, so. So that's one brow done. Um, personally, I don't find it too bad. It's kind of like a mix for me between using a pencil and using a uh, powder because you have the control of the brush like you do with the powder, but you get the same effect as if you used a pencil. So uh, yeah, let's just get the other one done and I'll meet you guys back here. So this is the finished look for both sides. Okay, so overall, just first impression review. Um, I found this very kind of difficult to work with um, just because it was so much harder to kind of uh, make my brows even. I actually don't even think that they're even now. Like, 
just looking at them. I don't know. I don't know guys. For me, this is not a product I would use every day just because it took so much work and I still don't even feel like they're that even. Like it, you constantly just feel like your brows are uneven. Um, it takes a lot of work. It's a product that um, took a lot more time than I'm used to. Even using a pencil, um, which is usually the longer of the two processes for me, normally powder's my quickest and then pencil. And then this is just, it takes so long. Um, I don't know why. I think it might be just the texture of the product. It's uh, harder to grip on where you need it to. Um, so for me, this wasn't like a amazing everyday product. It would be nice to kind of like help fill in with a pencil or help fill in with a powder or even like to do this as like a primer for powder on nights that you really want to get like your brows perfect. I don't know. That's just my first thought right now is that it's not my favorite. Um, I will set one brow with gel and see if we see a difference. I think I'm going to set this one with gel and then leave the other one and we'll see how it goes. I'm just using the Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Fell Brow Tinted Brow Gel, which is also my color. I just used a light, light amount of gel to uh, set that one with gel. Um, and then I did this one without gel because this is supposed to be like waterproof, like amazing coverage kind of uh, product. It says right here, waterproof on it. Um, so I expect some, a lot of things for like a waterproof product. Um, anyway, let's just test the waterproof claim right now. I'll just put some of this on my hand. So I just did a little almost like swatch of it. Okay. So there's the swatch there on my hand. And then I'll go get some water. So I just went and got like a little bowl of water. So I'm just going to take some of this on my finger and see how this works. So water on my finger. Okay. That's not too bad. Wow. Actually that is I would consider this waterproof. This actually would not be a bad thing if you were a makeup artist starting out. Be a great thing to have in your kit, I think, just to have an uh, option. Of course, it won't be as quick, but if you're ha if you have somebody like a bride or someone or a waterproof like a not waterproof but like a shoot where she might get water on her face, um, I think this would be a great asset to have. Um, because it is so waterproof like and smudge proof even like I'm sitting here rubbing my finger so that's a good thing um, I didn't particularly like how much time it took so it wouldn't be like an everyday but maybe for special occasions or like I said earlier for priming so I will check in throughout the day and just see how this wears for you guys I have a couple more videos to film and then I'm pretty much doing editing all day so I'll check in with you guys later on and we'll see how this goes hey everyone so it is currently 4.18. Um, I don't think I told you what time it was in my last video. I filmed that one at about 12 o'clock. So it's been about four hours and I just thought I'd do an update on the brow product for you guys. If I remember correctly, this is the brow with the gel. I think so because this one's a bit more dramatic. Honestly, I like the one without the gel better. I think this one turned out better. Um, by the way, if you guys think my eyes are looking a little funny, I had to take off my lashes. I have been in so much pain today um, that my eyes just keep watering. So yeah, I know my eyes kind of look like a hot mess right now. My lashes are gone. I know, I know, I know. Um, this is just what I'm dealing with right now. What I have noticed about this product though is that if you do get it on the skin, I did it a little bit more with this brow than with this one. You can kind of only see it a little bit on the bottom here. If you get it off this, like if you get it onto the skin at all, it goes a completely different color, like completely different, um, which is not so good when you think about the, ooh, it, which isn't so good. If most people use eyebrow products to fill in their brows, not just to kind of like color them in a little, a lot of people do like enhancing and like making them thicker and that kind of thing. So it's not really the best for that if it completely shows wherever you filled in. Um, so that's one gripe that I do have about this product. Um, by the way, I this swatch from earlier still has not come off. So that is one good thing. Um, I filmed another video earlier, so that's why I have other swatches. But anyway, that's uh, my four hour update for you guys, and I will see you guys later on tonight. Hey everyone, so I know oh, it's a lot later now. The color might be changed a bit. It's currently 7 13, which mightn't seem that late to you guys, but I'm ready to take off my makeup. <laughs> Um, so I just thought I'd give you guys another update, well my final update, on my brow product. So 
Once again, I really prefer the look without the gel. I think it just turned out so, so much better. Um, the wear for this has worn incredibly. Um, like I said in my last thing, swatch is still there, perfectly fine. I think this is, and I've washed my hands multiple times. So just saying, multiple, multiple times. So I would say this is a true wear proof product. Um, it has an incredible staying power. Um, I just don't like the look of it with a gel and I don't like the fact that if you go onto the skin, it turns a different color. That's my only gripe about it. So just as a final review, I think this brow pomade is an amazing product. It's a great thing to try, just see if you like it. Um, I personally didn't, I don't know how much I'll use it. I might, I wanna try it a few more times and see and see if I get a feel for it. But I really do like the look of it without the gel. Um, not so much of a fan with the gel, even though that's the instructions. I wouldn't listen to them, just saying. Uh, but I really did like it without the gel. So I would recommend trying it. I think it's a great product just to see, especially if you're more adventurous with your makeup or even if you're just an everyday woman and you wanna just try out a new product in your routine, this might be something that you'd like to try out. And I say once you get the hang of it, it'll take just as much time as your everyday brow product now. So I would recommend it. I think it's a great idea to try. Make sure to comment down below and leave any suggestions for future First Time Thursdays because you guys know how much I love doing these videos. Um, so just leave a comment down below if you guys have any product suggestions. Make sure to like and subscribe. That would definitely make my day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!